Well, parts of New Jersey could see more than a foot of snow, and NJ DOT is advising all motorists to stay off the roads during tomorrow's storm. And Governor Murphy issued a state of emergency ahead of the snowfall. And David Spun is in Eastern Burlington County tonight, where crews say, yeah, they are ready. David? Hi, Yuki and Nicole. The roads are in tough shape from the snow that we had earlier. Imagine what they're going to be like tomorrow at this time. Officials telling people to listen to those warnings about staying home if they can. And crews with public works departments, they're getting a little rest now because they will have a busy day beginning in just a few hours. The quiet snow covered streets of Mount Holly gave off a peaceful vibe on March 20th the first day of spring. I'm sick of it. I'm ready for the sun. I wish I could go to Florida. Those who live here while annoyed are hoping for some brighter days ahead. I think this is the last one though. I think after this one is done, I think we're good. And that goes for those who call Evesham Township home, including the mayor, Randy Brown. Can you see it in my face that I'm exhausted right now? Mayor Brown met us at the local salt yard where we spotted trucks loading up to hit the roads. The thing with the last storm, it was just so quick. You know, we had nine inches of, of snow in a four hour period of wet snow, which I'm fearful we're going to have tomorrow. State officials issued a commercial travel ban on I-78, I-80, I-280 and I-287. Local roads are also expected to pose a significant threat on Wednesday, so stay home if you can. People always talk about how much snow you get, but it's really, when we're trying to do clearing and salting operations, a quarter inch of ice is paralyzing. Very true. I checked with municipalities, different counties in South Jersey. They tell me they have a lot of salt ready for tomorrow, so most of those crews with Public Works are taking a little break right now and should be out early hours of tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Evesham, Burlington County, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.